at a constant speed, the front and back <clears throat> normal forces are equal. So ideally, let's say this car weighs 1,000 pounds, then how much should the front of the car versus the back of the car hold? They should each hold like 500 pounds, right? So when you're just sitting there, the front and back of the car should each hold about half the weight there, okay? Now, as you're driving along, okay, friction pulls back on the car. Oh yes, this is if you're braking, okay? So if you slam on the brakes like this there, and you're trying to stop here, think about it, which way will your weight shift if you slam on the brakes? Yeah, it's gonna shift forwards. So if the weight shifts forwards, you're gonna get a counterclockwise torque against the clock there, right? Shifting your weight forwards, okay? Don't confuse um, counterclockwise against the clock with uh, clockwise, which would be with the clock there, right? old-fashioned clock there. So what happens is, if you shift your weight forwards, you're gonna pull up which tires? The rear tires, right? So what that means is, in, in real life, why is that important? You lose grip on the back tires. So if you're going into a turn too fast and you slam on the brakes, you're gonna to start to lose grip on your back tires. It's actually easy to create what's called um, oversteer condition, because you're losing that grip on the back tires, okay? The rear normal force pushes up, because normal force always pushes up, as you can see right here, right? Adding to the counterclockwise torque there. So you're just losing more grip overall. The front normal force pushes up also on the front to try to counterbalance the torque in a clockwise direction, and you actually get more grip on the front tires. So that's okay that your weight's gonna shift, that's just part of driving a car there. It's just realizing where you're getting more or less grip, okay? So since the front tires have more normal force, it's gonna have more friction the fancy term for that is grip, okay, in terms of racing terminology, you basically have more friction. And because of that, you have a tendency to create what's called oversteer, where because the front tires are now grabbing more, right, and the back tires are slipping out, then you're gonna turn too much into the turn, okay? <clears throat>